we are finally hearing from Donald Sterling, the owner of the L.A. Clippers and one of the richest men in Hollywood. Weeks after he was caught on tape making those racist comments, now comes another audio tape on which Sterling defends himself. So what kind of defense can he offer and what does he say about the NBA's plan to force him out of his own team? Here's ABC's Ryan Smith. You think I'm a racist? You think I have anything in the world but love for everybody? That's embattled L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling, who last week was banned by the NBA He's got to go. after a racist tirade went public and rocked the nation. No justice! No peace! You don't think that. You know I'm not a racist. In a recorded phone call posted today by Radar Online, Sterling speaks on racism allegations for the first time, even explaining why he's tolerant. What about when I hear that tape, though, that, that tape I heard? I grew up in East L.A. East L.A., you die to get out of there. I got out of East L.A. I was the president of the high school there. I mean, if you, and I'm a Jew, and 50% of the people there were black and 40% were Hispanic. In the call, Sterling is questioned by an unidentified friend. How can you be in this business and be a racist? Do you think I tell the coach to get white players or to get the best player he can get? Some have said that the conversation sounds less than natural, calling into question the validity of the recording. Of course, Sterling is much better known for this recording. That bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. A tape conversation with his lady confidant, V. Stiviano. Do you know that you have a whole team that's black that plays for you? You just do I know? I support them and give them food and clothes and cars and houses. The racist comments sparked widespread outrage and may cost Sterling what he loves most. I am banning Mr. Sterling for life from any association with the Clippers organization or the NBA. Last Friday in an ABC News exclusive, Barbara Walters sat down with Stiviano, who adamantly defended Mr. Sterling amidst the uproar. Is Donald Sterling a racist? No. I don't believe it in my heart. Have you heard him say derogatory things about minorities in general and blacks in particular? Absolutely. You've heard him say derogatory things? Yes. Don't they sound racist to you? I think the things he says are not what he feels. Anyone can say anything in the heat of the moment. I think Mr. Sterling's from a different generation than I am. I think he was brought up to believe those things. What things? Segregation, uh -huh. whites and blacks. He was brought up to believe, these believe in his own way. And they're ingrained in him, deep and rooted in his body and in his mind. But through his actions, he's shown that he's not a racist. Through his actions, he's shown to be a very generous and kind man. The NBA has not been as forgiving, saying it's within their power to strip Sterling of his Clipper franchise by Thank forcing for a sale. Here. Mr. Sterling may not attend any NBA games or practices. He may not be present at any Clippers facility, and he may not participate in any business or player personnel decisions involving the team. Last week, an array of big-name celebrities were mentioned as possible buyers. Any chance you'd buy the Clippers? No, I won't be buying the Clippers, but I hear Magic Johnson might be. Did you hear that? Do we want to buy the Clippers? Yes, we do. We're very, very interested in buying the Clippers. Donald's wife, Shelly Sterling, claims that she's a co-owner and is making an impassioned case to keep the team. Her lawyer explained her position. She wants to retain her ownership. She's entitled to retain her ownership. Nobody can force her to give up her ownership. She doesn't want to go to court. But let me tell you, if anybody tries to take away her ownership without her consent, she will do everything in her power, and I will too, to protect her valuable property right. Mrs. Sterling says she is considering divorcing her husband and that she doesn't share his racist views, saying, quote, I do not condone those statements that you heard. I do not believe in them. I am not a racist. The NBA has left the door open for her to take ownership of the team. This ruling applies specifically to Donald Sterling and Donald Sterling's conduct only. 
But Coach Doc Rivers told ESPN tonight that not everyone would welcome Mrs. Sterling in such a role. I think it'd be a very hard situation if you want me. Yeah, I'll say that much. I think it'd be very difficult. Uh, I, I guarantee you every person wouldn't be on board with that. Whether I would or not, uh, I'm not going to say. But court documents revealed that Mrs. Sterling may not be as unlike her husband as she claims to be. Some former Sterling tenants have accused her of blatant racism, including one who said, quote, I asked her, would you reduce the rent? And she said, quote, who do you think you are, you black expletive? In a statement, Shelley's lawyer said, quote, these claims are based on allegations lifted from legal proceedings, none of which resulted in a finding of discrimination against Mrs. Sterling or the Sterling's companies. Mrs. Sterling said this allegation was, quote, completely false and very hurtful. She has denied discriminating against tenants. There have been lawsuits in which she's been involved in. Um, obviously, once Shelly Sterling says, you know, I am not a part of whatever my husband did, then discovery is open and we're going to find out. It's going to be visited and revisited what Shelly Sterling might actually have said years ago in various cases. So, so she's going to be subject uh, to the same scrutiny. And if today's recording reveals anything, when it comes to his team, Donald Sterling isn't going down without a fight. You can't force someone to sell property in America. Well, I'm a lawyer. That's my opinion. I'm Ryan Smith for Nightline in New York.